Have you guys heard of the houses theme? It is the number one most popular real estate theme on ThemeForce. It has tons of five-star reviews, a lot of sales, but is it a good theme? Today in this video, I'll be giving you guys a thorough review on the houses theme. I think today it's getting harder to find legitimate reviews because everyone is just overwhelmingly positive about every single product and no one ever gives any criticism about a lot of these products. So today in this video, I'll give you guys a thorough review on the houses theme. I went ahead and purchased houses theme. I tested the ins and outs and I'll give you guys my experience using this WordPress theme. So let's dive into it. The houses theme is the most popular real estate theme for WordPress. It has beautiful demos, tons of elements, and integrates with MLS IDX. Although I do love this theme, there are some small drawbacks. So let's talk about it. When you first install the theme, you can import the demo content located in the houses section. You can scroll to the bottom, then click on demo import right away. There are some server requirements that you must have in order for the MLS to work, but I'll explain this later in the video. When you scroll to the bottom, you'll see lists of available demos, and the demos look fantastic. You can use these demos, whether you're a basic real estate agent, a real estate firm, or if you just wanna create a real estate website like Zillow. The houses theme comes with more than 30 demos you can use on your websites. When you click on demo import, it'll prompt you to install some other plugins. These are optional and not required, so you can skip this by clicking on continue import. The theme will then start to import the demo content. And after just a few minutes, it'll import your website and then you can visit the websites. Now my first time importing the demo, it actually brought me to a post page. This is a quick fix. All you need to do is assign the home page in the website homepage section in the theme customizer. Once you do this, you'll be able to fix the home page or you can select any home page that you'd like. So as you can tell, the landing pages look pretty nice. When you click on the search bar, it'll then bring you to the search results page. Here you can see they've created a very similar interface to websites like Coldwell Banker, Century 21, and even Zillow. The theme offers various different search results pages. There's a listing with a sidebar to the right side of the page, or you can put it to the left side. There's also a listing view. This displays property in a listing format. They also have this very interesting parallax effect, which stacks the properties on top of each other, creating this interesting parallax effect. Now I know this won't work for everyone, but it still looks pretty cool. The houses theme uses Elementor for its primary page builder. If you click on edit with Elementor, you can turn on the page builder and then design your websites. The houses theme comes with more than 40 different elements for the Elementor page builder. With these elements, you can display listings and also add in specific search filter elements. With the houses theme, the elements are pretty easy to understand. You can simply drag and drop the elements and the demo content propagates quite nicely. You can showcase your properties with a grid view or a few different styles, and you can even adjust the image resolution. I do like this layout. I think version two to edit properties is quite nice. It displays the number of beds, the number of baths, and even the square footage. Overall, the elements for Elementor are pretty useful. I don't think I would use all of them, but they're still nice to have. Next, let's talk about the theme options, which are probably the most important aspect of the theme. The theme categorizes itself into three different sections, the theme options, the houses options, and then the real estate options. I do like the simplicity of this. The houses options displays necessary plugins and also a field builder. This essentially allows you to create custom fields for your websites. Custom fields are fields where you can ask for more information such as credit scores, bankruptcies, or anything else you want to select. There's also custom post types. The great part about this theme is they've auto-created the most obvious custom post types. The only drawback is you cannot create any more, which could be limited for some. There's also taximonies. These are essentially tags for your property and search filters. Overall, the house's theme options are the more technical parts of your websites. You can also use Currency Switcher, which actually pulls live rates from openexchange.org. Next, let's talk about the theme options. Now the theme options can be a little confusing because the theme options in this section are the same options on the left side of the sidebar. I'm not really sure why they duplicated this. It makes it look really complicated, but these are actually referring to the same exact options. The general options are pretty basic. You have basic website layouts where you can change specific layouts for properties and also a back to top button and a few other features. It also does have a translation where you can adjust the translation for specific words on your theme. You can upload your logo and choose between various headers. You can also create one from scratch using the Elementor Pro version. Also, there is an option where you can add a top bar above your websites, and they do have some options like a splash page, which basically just creates a quick page. But I do think these options are more depreciated because all this can be done with the page builder. You also have the option to create a nice login and register page on your website. They also have a property detail page where you can select specific layouts for your listings. You can also create your own property page from scratch using the Elementor Page Builder Pro. They also do have a layout manager option. This essentially allows you to add in sections on your property. 
For example, here is the overview description and address on the actual property. You can essentially mix and match these elements using the layout manager. If you want the description at the top, you can then move it to the top and then click on save changes and then the changes will apply to all your listings. If I refresh the page, you'll see that the description now appears at the top. This is probably not the best builder because you'll be forced to refresh the page, but it works and it's not bad. You can add things like a walk score, Yelp, nearby places, and also schedule a tour at specific properties. You also have three different options for your search results pages where you can choose a half map, a normal page, or you can choose a sidebar. With this theme, you can also have memberships. If you want to have users pay to have access to your websites or charge memberships, you can integrate payment gateways like Stripe and also PayPal. The theme does have its own custom gateway, but I would definitely recommend WooCommerce because you can add in more payment gateways this way. What are the drawbacks with this theme? Well, you have to scroll all the way to the bottom and then scroll all the way up to see the changes that you've made, which can get really annoying and it's really cluttered. I think they should probably fix this, but the rest are just general miscellaneous options that you may or may not never use. Now there's one thing I wanted to touch base on and that was the Elementor settings. You'll need to go to the Elementor settings and turn on specific post types. This will allow you to fully customize these pages as I mentioned earlier about specific property pages you can create from scratch. However, there are some small drawbacks to this. You can't really customize the search page. If you activate the Elementor page builder on the search page, there's very few areas where you can actually use the page builder. However, when I did add an elements, it got really glitchy. And it's probably not a good idea to use Elementor on the search results page. Although technically you can, it just feels like the theme is not meant for this, so I would refrain from using the page builder on the search results page. Adding in properties is quite simple. If you guys decide to use the manual way of adding properties, you can click on add a property, and then you can add in the title, some description. Also, the custom fields will propagate where users can enter in their property settings, more pictures of the property, a virtual tour, and contact information. You can actually choose specific agents to receive leads from specific properties. Once you're done entering this information, you'll click on publish and publish the property. Here you can see the listing. All the fields fully propagated and everything looks great. I do think this is quite easy and I do like the simplicity of this of creating properties with this specific theme. Now the best thing about this theme is probably the CRM. Every agent including yourself will have the options to edit their own personal accounts. Here they can view the properties, they can create listings, pay invoices and a lot more. What's even better, you can use this theme as a property management website because you can accept payments and subscriptions. You can also see statistics for specific properties. For example, over here, I'll click on single family home. When I click on view stats, you will actually see how many people are viewing the property. You can see the views, unique views, and just general traffic about how many people clicked on a specific property. This can actually help you understand if a house is hot or if the house might need a price adjustment. Many themes do not offer this, and this is a notable feature about this specific theme. Overall, I do think the house's theme is a pretty solid real estate WordPress theme. I do think the theme options need to be a little cleaned up, but once you adjust these options, you won't have to come back to them again. The house's theme also fully integrates with IDX MLS, so you can always import your MLS to your website. I would give this theme a solid A-. I think that the whole theme needs a little bit of work, but it'll get the job done just fine. The house's theme costs about $69, and this is a one-time payment for lifetime access. I do think many of these real estate WordPress themes got too much inspiration for one another. I actually made a whole nother video on the best five real estate WordPress themes. And if you look at the other themes, they're very similar from one another and it's hard to draw the distinction from one another. If you guys are gonna make a real estate website, I actually have a whole nother tutorial that uses the houses theme. It also fully integrates with the MLS IDX. So if you guys are an agent with your own MLS, you guys can use the houses theme. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Let me know in the comments what you guys thought about this WordPress theme in the comments below. And until then, I will see all of you party people in the next video, guys. Take care.